Right, guys, so if ideally, if you haven't got any stomach, rubbery bands, gliders or a towel, and if you've got a yoga block. But again, doesn't matter if you've got none of it. Yoga block or cushion, by the way. So if you haven't got a yoga block or cushion will do, gliders or a towel, and a little band. What's the yoga block for? Is it to step onto or just... No, just lift your bum up or squeeze between your legs, one or the other. Yeah, no, no, all good. And there's I was still. No, darling, no. And there's still only four of you. What is going on here? So, Caroline, you ran off before I finished talking. <laughs> no, I heard you. Oh, did you? Oh, good, she heard me. That sounds ominous. I heard you. Was my voice echoing through your house? I'm surprised. I've got really bad ulcer. It's really making it hard to talk. Right, okay, let's just do this. So, you got everything yet? Yeah? Hopefully. The more, as I said, you know what I'm like with teaching. If, you've, if you haven't got any of it, it wouldn't matter. We could do it anyway. But if you've got it, you'll just get a better workout. And now we need to start because it's quarter past, so we're really late now. Right. Mute yourselves if you're not already muted. Lovely to see you all. Although there are only four of you, and I know six checked in, so flipping brilliant. Uh, music is going on. Okay. Let's stand nice and tall. Let's do our zippy areas up. So squeeze up. That on the out, take your arms, you single, single, double, single, single, double, then single, single, the side bend, and the double. A single, a single, a side bend, a single, a single, yeah, and just a double. So what this is doing is nicely warming up the shoulders if I do the plank work. Obviously you've got lateral flexion. So you're working through your core. So it's kind of light and really nice, actually. Yeah, keep reaching. And again. Now just do a V and a W. A V and a W in the air. And just see if anyone else is there. No, it's still not. <clears throat> and W. V and W. V and W. One more. V and W. Now take it. Pull back, arch your arms. Keep your hips facing front. Keep your knees soft. Keep going. Side bends over. Yeah. Stand tall. Twist, twist, reach. Twist, twist, reach. Keep your hips facing front. Keep your belly buttons and zips done up. Okay, now, knee and down, knee and down, so leg, knee and down, take it up in front, take it back, for four and back, three and back, two and back, one, other side, knee up, tap, knee up, tap, knee up, tap, knee up, three more, knee, tap, knee, tap, knee, tap, knee, tap. Good. Lunge back and twist over the bent leg on the inside leg. Lunge back over the bent leg on the inside. Lunge back over the bent leg on the inside. Lunge back, there, there. That'll do. That's all I'm going to do for the warm up. You all right? You good to go? So now you just saw roughly what I'm going to do now. I've got an option. I'm going to do a lunge back with a twist, twist over the same leg. But if you want to make it slightly trickier, You'll slide your leg back on either your glider or your towel. Yeah? So get ready. Glider or towel. And it'll be the same leg for the whole 50 seconds. All right, here we go. So what I'm going to do is slide back, twist, twist, slide in. Slide back, twist, twist, slide in. Slide back, twist, twist, slide in. Have you got it? So it's the same leg, doing the sliding or gliding. And if you haven't got sliders or gliders, what do you reckon you do? Just step back. And then. That's it. And I'm twisting both ways. So when I twist over the bent leg, I'm also twisting the whole way around on the inside as well now. Can you feel it? So you should feel it quite strong on your core. That front leg is nice and strong. 
keep the knee nice and steady, don't let it roll in and roll out. That's good. And if your balance is a bit off, don't panic, it's quite challenging on your core. All right, shake it off, you've got 10 seconds, have some water if you want, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side, all right? You okay? Yeah? Let's go. So now the other leg. So I lunge back, I twist, and I twist, and I pull it in. I lunge back, I twist, and I twist, and I pull it in. I lunge back, now obviously the deeper you lunge, the more challenging this will be. That front foot is nice and firm on that floor. My knee isn't rolling around. Keep it going for me. You doing all right? And remember, you don't have to. You can just step back. And if your balance is really bad today, just twist over the bent side. You don't even have to twist on the inside. But if you're struggling, that's good. It's kind of meant to make you struggle. All right? We okay? Yeah? Good. Okay. Standing. Go with the first front, the first leg you use. Do your standing knee pulls. But wide. Look. This is wide. I'm not turning. And when I tap down, I only tap that big toe down. And look again. If I show you side, look. I've got a rotation going on again. Can you do it? Yeah, you got it? That's lovely. Make sure you only put the foot down really lightly. And the wider apart the legs, the better. <laughs> That's it, keep it going all on that same side. There's loads of rotation going on, look. Oh, I'm leaning over on that holding leg. I'm not standing bolt up straight, if you are, no. Lean over, shake it off, and then get ready to do the other side, yeah, and go, so see that rotation, try and only put that big toe down lightly, keep going, that's it, Girls, make sure you're sort of leaning over on that holding leg a bit more. That's good. Really lightly with that big toe. Keep going, you look fantastic. Come on, don't stop. Keep going, last few seconds. Good girls. A few more standing and then we'll go down. So the next one you want your yoga block, your cushion, whatever you've got. And again, if you've got nothing, you don't matter. It didn't hold anything, actually. All right. Squat push. And I'm bouncing just onto the balls of my feet. Pushing it away. But look at the position I'm in. And that's all nice and tight on the abs. Can you feel it on your tummy? You should be able to feel your tummy. Yeah? So when you push it, it's, it's a short, sharp push. My arms are fully out. If you only got to jump, you can just raise up on your balls. But you can jump if you want. It's probably worse. I can feel it both ways, if I'm honest. We good? Heart rate is probably elevated, but I want you to feel your tummy. It's the most important bit on this one. <laughs> oh yeah, stop it. All right, good girls. Put your block down. All right, don't hate me. Take your crane and hold it. Just hold it. Hold your crane. So as I say, you crane. Hold your crane position. Hold it, I'll tell you when to change. Flex your foot, tighten your abdominals. Keep your support leg bent. Come on, breathe. Change your legs now. Hold it. Remember, if you need your leg lower, you are not allowed to have your leg lower. You haven't got to be over in a full crane, but I'd like you to. Tighten your abdominals, just hold that static contraction. Oh, God. Hold it, breathe. 10 seconds left. 
I'm worse on this side. Step out. You all right? You good? Right, we're gonna roll down now. We're gonna roll down, walk it out, roll back in, okay? So roll down, walk it out, come back up. If you've got something on the floor in front of you, reach and tap it, and then come back up. Roll down, reach and tap, roll back up. If you absolutely have to, you roll down, knees on the floor, walk out and tap. So if you have to put your knees down, you know you can, right? Stop it, Romeo. Sit, good girls. Walk it out, don't slam hands down too hard. That's really good, by the way. Try and reach out and tap something if you can. Definitely makes it a little bit more challenging, not gonna lie. Roll that up, tie those abdominals. Remember, keep those zips done up. Okay, stay down. Sit back and release your shoulders. Bum in the air, release your shoulders. Okay, stay down, girlies. All right, I'd like to take you into a plank position. Feet wide, I want you to tap back. And tap one foot, then come down. Tap the other, come down. 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 Can you do it? You all right? Come on, bums up nice and high, and then come down. Keep changing size each time, and you shouldn't have to keep moving your hands. You should be able to push yourself back and come straight down onto the hands. So you shouldn't have to keep moving your hands forward and back, all right? Good girls, keep going, you're lovely. Obviously, if you're really struggling, you sit back and then you plank. You sit back and tap, and then you plank. You sit back and you plank. Well, I'm hoping to see that. Right, sit down, release the shoulders. Right, you've got your stretchy bands. I want you to have your stretchy bands, hopefully it's a light one. Link, link it over, look, loop it. Either knees down and row in a plank, or straight legs and row. But when you row, keep that really close to your body, yeah? We're we doing okay? One side, then the other. No, Joanne, one side, then the other. Look up, Joanne, look at me. Look at me, Joanne! Good girl. I've got my, look, can anyone see I've got it? I've got it looped around my hands like this, it makes it easier to just put it up and down. Yeah? Don't worry, we'll get another guy like that. Don't panic if you haven't got it like that. Yeah? Just makes it so much easier. That's it, good girls. Caroline, I've got a beautiful view of your lovely kitchen. I hope you're not just rolling around the floor enjoying yourself. <laughs> Sit back and stretch out your shoulders. Good girls though, that was nice. You all right? Okay. Release it, come down onto your forearms. One side only. Turn, come down. Turn, turn, and thread. Yeah? Oh, good girl, Caroline. Now, keep your elbow directly under your shoulder if you want to make it slightly worse, look. I'd have the bottom leg down, the top leg straight. Look, 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 look at me hips up. Get your hips off the floor, Caroline. You're stronger than that. Get them up. Good girl. If you want straight legs, girls, we can have straight legs as well. Whatever's better for you, yeah? Keep that elbow right under that shoulder. Oh God, sit back and stretch. Get ready for the other side. You can obviously have your bums to me. I'm turning around so I can see you though. So I start off in the Cossack. I come over and then just under and open. Under and open. So I'm just threading. Keep those hips up high so you work your waist more. If you want to do straight wide legs or straight staggered legs, I mean stacked legs, Stack legs is definitely the hardest. Staggered legs, quite hard. Knee down, all hard. Hip down, easy. So hip down and under is an option. I'd love, rather see hips up though. And obviously if you've got your legs up, even better. But not if it's, it's not safe for you. So 
me all right? All right, good girls, nice. Okay, now we're gonna go on our backs. We're gonna have our tower or our gliders under a foot, one foot, one foot. We're gonna come up into a bridge position. The other foot is on our toe. We're gonna to slide out and in. We're gonna slide, oh good, slide out and in. Slide out and in. But keep your hips high and up on the toe. And if you wanna make it even harder, you lift that leg up and pull it out and in. Oh, lost one. Now I find that almost impossible. So I go out, then I drop my bum a little bit to come in. Can you see? Yeah, but I haven't actually put my bum down. Can you see? My bum isn't actually touching down. It's not far off, I'm not gonna lie. Oh God. And then that's the back of my thigh, my abs and my bum. It is really hard. All right, you all okay? Did you manage it? Swap to the other side. Now remember that option one, option one is up on the toe on the other side, not flat, just too easy, look. So here. I can just go out and in, keep my bum high, keep my tummy tight, and I'm up on the ball of the foot. And then the other version was to take my leg out. Oh God, that is so hard. Oh, actually I can start high on this one. Out, oh, out, oh God. You can almost drop your bum down a little bit if you need to, to come back in. Yes, yeah, so now I'm doing it, my bum touches down really lightly, otherwise I just can't keep going. I'm not gonna lie, I can't. Oh, obviously if you keep your bum off the floor the whole time, fantastic, but obviously I don't want to kill you though. Come on, keep going. I'll see you all leaving the leg down then. Is anyone going to try? Try lifting the other leg up. Go on, it is really hard, but you might be able to do it. Okay, good girls. Alright, yoga blocks under butts. Yoga block or cushion under butts. Lift the butt up, take the legs up, take the arms up, dead bug, opposite hand and legs, slowly down, slowly down, but bum is elevated, so there's no intra-abdominal pressure whatsoever, you might find this a lot easier to accent this move, tummies are drawn in, if you need to keep your arms still, I don't mind, of course you can if you have to, Ugh. You all alright? Yeah? <laughs> Keep going girlies. Opposite arm and leg will be even better. <sighs> Keep breathing for me. You good? Okay, bum off, block between the legs. I'm going to show you this one with your legs in the air. It can be done with your feet on the floor, but I know you girls can do it. So I'm going to get you to hold the block between your knees or in the thighs, one or the other. Slowly go over. Big breath in and then exhale over the other way. And if you prefer to do the straight leg wipers, I'm going to just put it between my calves and try it. Exhale over, big breath in. Exhale over. And if you really are dying, like seriously, you can put your feet on the floor if you have to, all right? Keep your palms up, keep your shoulders on the floor. Keep breathing and keep going. How are we doing? Oh, we've done loads. That went quick. I've only got about five left. Blue me neck, I've got loads more up my sleeve. Never mind. How are we doing, you all right? <laughs> Come on, keep going. Big breath into the center and twist, keep your shoulders down, keep your palms up. You look really good. Okay, good stuff. Right. Release that. Feet back on either the tower or your gliders. Both feet. Okay. Bum up, slide out. Oh, hang on, I slid off them. Both legs out and in. Look. Now look, my bum isn't very high, but it is off the floor the whole time. Can you do it? If it gets too much and you're like, oh my God, Emma, what are you on? Do a single, a single, and then try a double. Single, single. And look, my bum isn't high, but it is never touching the floor. Yeah? Only just, to be fair. Oh. Bum, back and thigh, abs. I know it's hard, so just do your best. 
If you can manage to do doubles, you're going to definitely know about it. Pull them tummies tight. Are you all right? Okay, take your feet off those. Grab your yoga block or cushion. Okay, put it between your feet to start. Lay down. And all we're going to do is the pass. Pass the block or pass the cushion. Yeah? Head up or head down, not up and down. Yeah, you good? Girls, you all right? <laughs> Keep it going. Head up or head down. And if this is killing you, you go back to single, single abs. That's okay, all right? Because obviously you know I'm going to always want you to be safe. If your tummy's popping out, you're arching your back, that's going to be just no good for anyone. Keep breathing. Oh. Really engage your core, especially when you bring your feet down, yeah? I can really, really, really feel that. I hope you can. Mm. Nearly there. Okay. Get your little loop band. Get your little loop band. And put it around your feet. Look. Look. Around your feet. Push. You see what I'm doing? Yeah? Come on then. Push. If you're not comfortable here with me, lay down. Normally when you come up here, though, it's a bit better for your back. Oh my God. Oh, can you feel that? My abdominals are actually screwing their heads out. Off. Caroline, if you need to put your hands under your bum because you're laying flat, you can. Those of you up here with me, you should really be feeling this. Your abdominals should be screaming by now. Not your thighs, your abs. Keep your feet wide enough, you've got some resistance. All right, ping that off. Oh my God. Right, over on to all fours, please. Now, I'm gonna warn you, this one's a bit tricky, so we need to be careful. Towel should do it. Knees together, tummy tight. Slide out, slide back in. Maybe don't go too far. Slide out, yeah, don't go too far. I can go flat and I can't come back in. Go out and then pull it back in. My triceps are also killing from this morning. Push and pull. Can you do it? Does anyone end up flat on the face yet? If you're dying, do one hand then the other. It's a lot easier. All right, so if, it is, if you're just like, yeah, no, no, I can't. Yeah. If you need to, go right out. Oh, God, my triceps. I didn't realize I brought them that hard today. If you do this one with me, though, you bend the supporting arm so you can go further, yeah? Like that. Are you all right? Still with me. Come and lay down on your tummy. If you find your pubic bone sticks in the floor too much, put your towel under you. Flex your feet, look at the floor. Head up, legs up, and just swim. If it's too much, just do the legs. Come on then. Or just do the arms. Don't pass me. The dogs are under my feet. Still look at the floor. If you do arms and legs, that's fantastic. If you just need to do arms or legs, that's all right. Keep going, guys. Pull them tummies in. Come on, it's the last move. So if it's bad, it's good. Keep going. You all right? Shouldn't be hurting your backs, by the way. Pull your tummies in. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. That's your workout over. Do you feel all right? I feel that we should do one more though, because there's one more that I missed that I really like to do. Let's just do that, come on. So put your feet on your towel. The gliders are easier, by the way, but I'll do it on the towel. Okay, we're just gonna do a pike. So instead of stretching your arms out, you do it through your legs. Look, much more achievable, but still hard. Right, when you're ready, I want you to do 20. Ready? Worst case scenario, have your hands on your sofa or something. Come on then, let's see it. What's going on? Are we, are we doing anything? Look, all oh, out one and out. Two and out. Three and out. Four, tummy's tight. Five, six, seven, oh my God. Eight, nine, 
10. I'm going to have a rest. And I'm going to do it on the gliders, the last 10. See if that's easier because that's really hard. Ugh. You with me? Right, I'm going to do my last 10. 10. Oh no, that's hard as well. 9. 8. 7. Oh god. 6. 5. Oh, it out. 4. 3. 2. Oh god, one more. 1. Oh. You alright? Okay, that was a bit hard, but we did it. Okay, come on then, stay down with me. Sit back into child's pose and relax. Oh, that was a bit horrendous. Now leaving your butt on your heels, can you just walk it over to one side so you do that angled child's pose? Do you remember this one? So you should get stretched all the way down the side of your body, okay? And then come down. So I had so much more I wanted to do today as well. It went really quick. I hope it went quick for you as well. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh. Come up onto a fours. Elbow. Big breath in, elbow to elbow. Exhale, elbow to the ceiling. Reach if you can. Big breath in, exhale, elbow. Well, stretch the arm under. Bend the supporting leg, head. Supporting leg, supporting arm. Ear and shoulder on the floor. Then take a big breath in and then that same stretched arm, stretch out in front for the shoulder joint. Now come up, let's do the other side. Elbow to elbow in, big breath in. Exhale, rotate, elbow to the ceiling. Stretch if you can. Big breath in, exhale, thread under. Relax down. That stretched out arm, stretch it in front. Onto the fours, hip circles one way. Keep shoulders still, hip circles the other way. Hump and hollow. Hump and hollow. Tuck your toes under if you feel all right, down dog. Release your spine. Oh. Walk your feet in, stay here, hang, cross our columns, relax your head, sway, and then roll up. And then roll your shoulders back and down, roll your shoulders back and down, and come back to me, come back to me. Oh, Facebook crew, catch up crew, let me know how you get on.